Hey guys, welcome back to Slow Bros. Uh, today we're going to be featuring our first uh, PTCGO video on the channel. The, uh, the last TCG video I posted was a live battle. So if you didn't check that video out already, definitely make sure um, and go to our channel, subscribe if you like this video, um, and check out that other match. It was a pretty close match between uh, Best Book and the Volcanian in the standard format. So, speaking of the standard format, we have uh, this Mega Gardevoir deck that has been rising in popularity recently um, due to Texas Regionals. Uh, four out of the top eight spots were Mega Gardevoir. And um, so, what is all this hype about? Well, Mega Gardevoir EX, Despair Ray for a Fairy and a Colorless. So that's only two energy attachments, which is none too shabby. Um, so it says one ten, it does 110 damage, and then the effect of the attack is discard as many of your bench Pokemon as you like. This attack does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discarded in this way. So usually, you can only have five bench Pokemon, allowing Mega Gardevoir to only do a max of 160. But thanks to Skyfields, we can have up to 8 bench Pokemon, making Mega Gardevoir's attack go up to max 190 damage if you have a full bench and you discard everything. So, um, 180 damage is sort of the magic number and knocks out every single EX besides maybe Waylord and Zygarde EX. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, a pesky item uh, that can make it so the, their EXs have more HP is Fighting Fury Bill, but since we have this Rattata here with Mysterious Fang, it says when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So what you can do, put down Rattata, discard their Fighting Fury Bill, and then go ahead and discard uh, 6 or 7 your bench Pokemon, take the one shot, and <laughs> move on to the next turn. Um, so. Uh, the way that we fill our bench with this deck is in the early turns, um, usually we want to Ultra Ball for this Hoopa EX. It'll allow us to set up all of our Gardevoir's Scoundrel Ring, lets us to search up to 3 Pokemon EX, so we can get maybe 3 Gardevoir's, 2 Gardevoir's and a Shaman, um, maybe a Dragonite if we have other Pokemon in the discard that we want to get out, like a Rattata, um, or stuff like that. We also play four Shaman. Uh, most standard decks usually just play like two Shaman, maybe three, uh, maybe even one. But in this deck, we play a massive amount of four Shaman, making making sure to um, max out that slot because Shaman is the most important card because uh, you put it on the bench, so that acts as another ten extra damage technically, while you also draw uh, draw cards with a set of ability. Um, speaking of Dragonite, a little earlier, we have Dragonite DX, and uh, it, we use it for the ability pull up. So when you play it from your, from your hands onto your bench, you put two basic Pokemon, except for the Dragonite, uh, from your discard pile into your hand. So uh, going back to Despair Ray, you do have to discard things, uh, so they do go into the discard. Maybe you have to discard a Tata, maybe you have to discard a Shaman, and then you want to get it back with Dragonite so you can plop that down. Get back your Rattata, discard their item, get back your Shaman, and draw some more cards. Now, the, the last Pokemon that I haven't talked about in this deck is Lucha. Um, this is sort of a tech card uh, against Evil Tall Fright Knight. Uh, what Evil Tall Fright Knight does, it's a pretty popular card. Um, it has an ability where it shuts off item or tool cards. And with our Gardevoir Spirit Link, is a very important tool card as it lets us to evolve without ending our turn, which is really important, especially in such a speedy deck like this. We can't afford to just Mega Evolve and like, have our turn end like that. So we play Halucha. Sudden Cyclone. When you play this Pokemon from her hand onto your bench, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon. So when you put that down, it forces, unless your opponent has another Evil Tall Fright Knight on the bench, it forces them to bring up something that isn't Evil Tall Fright Knight. And therefore, since it's not in the active, you can attach your spirit links, you can evolve that on being your turn, and maybe even you can Lysander up that same Fright Knight and knock it out if, you, if you're annoyed by it or uh, if they 
bring up something that you don't really want to knock out or something like that. So, um, that's for the Pokemon. On to the items here. We have two Buddy Buddy Rescues. We mainly use them to get back Dragonite because with a Buddy Buddy Rescue, you can get back Dragonite, which allows you to get back two others. So pretty much you're getting back three Pokemon from your discard, uh, which is really good. We play two Super Odd. Uh, we with this card we can get back our uh, our energies most importantly because this is our only card to get back our energies besides Mega Turbo which doesn't shuffle it back into your deck. Um, it shuffle it puts it directly onto the Mega Pokemon, acts as another sort of speed item card to make this deck attack even faster and earlier into the game. Um, we also have one escape rope. It sort of acts like a Halucha, but you also switch out. Um, so maybe if you have like a Dragon IDX in the active and you just switch that out, uh, you play Escape Rope. Um, we can just switch out our Hoopla if it's in the active, or Shaman if it's in the active, pretty much anything. Uh, if it gets caught in the active, you have Escape Rope. Uh, next we play 4 Trainers Mail, uh, speed through our deck, 4 Ultra Ball, make sure to get it in our early hands, get the Hoopla, 4 VS Seeker to get back our Lysander our ends and our sycamore which we play four of and two ends um then we play four skyfield because it's very important to have skyfield in play because our pesky stadium for this deck is parallel city which makes it so we can only have three bench pokemon so we need to be able to counter that stadium <coughs> as fast as possible and as you said four god of war spirit links to evolve and eight fairy energies so that's the deck guys um without further ado let's get into the match Alright guys, so we find a match versus Seraphiel7. Uh, says I have the advantage. I think this might be a mirror match because as you saw in the typings, he plays the exact same typings that I do. So, uh, I did lose the coin flip, so I'm going to have to go second if he does choose to go first. Yeah, I'm going to go second. Um, but, uh, alright. We started Guard of Oryx. Good starter, but bad news is our hand is... Very awful, we have no draw cards. Um, oh yeah, edit that I made to this deck. We cut a Sycamore, so now we play only three Sycamore, and we cut that for a second escape rope because I realized that uh, having only one escape rope is very scary if something is stranded in the active, so. Um, so uh, it's not going to be the this Mega Gardevoir, it's going to be the other Mega Gardevoir with Brilliant Arrow. Um, so this is going to be interesting as to see how this matchup actually goes. Um, I did see Psychic in his deck, so there is definitely a possibility that he plays, um, like two Despair Rays and then just one of, uh, oh not Despair Ray, two Brilliant Arrows and there's one Despair Ray, um, just as like a side attacker or something like that. Um, so there he goes, does he play a supporter? No, we did not. So we did top deck that Sycamore. There's a good thing and a bad thing about that, which is we do have to discard two Mega Guard Wars. But guys, we can get that back with Super Rod. We can get that back. Um, and we have to do that. So, oh my goodness. What is this? We have three Guard Wars Spirit Links. At least we know that we don't have to dig for them. Uh, we definitely don't have to worry about finding Guard Wars Spirit Links now, so. 
let's go ahead and play that Palucha down. It'll allow him to um, switch his bench because he really does want the Xerneas in the active to be using Giannassi and charging up in his, his attacks. So now I force him to put Guard of Rex in the active. Also allows us to draw more cards with Shaman. Come on, Shaman, let's get us an Ultra Ball. We would like an Ultra Ball. Okay, or not, or not. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drop another guard board, drop the spirit link down. Um, now, I think, let's see. Yeah, hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 damage. I'm going to go ahead and do 20 damage, because honestly with this deck, 20 damage makes a big difference, guys. A big difference in the late game. Um, so yeah, there is his one copy of the Despair Ray Mega Gardevoir. And there's a Fairy Drop. Uh, he gets to heal 50 damage, so uh, the 20 damage that we did, not gonna really be uh, that important after all. So here's the Sycamore, gonna discard a Mega Turbo. Um, and he puts down the Fairy Garden. Now, at least I know that there's no way for him to knock us out because he can only do 160 max uh, if he discards all of his bench Pokemon. And there's the Koopa, so he could have actually knocked me out. <laughs> he could have knocked me out. He decides not to, or maybe he just messed up, or maybe he's punching himself in the face right now, but um, maybe he just didn't want to. He just wanted to do only 110. And it looks like maybe he's not even playing the Brilliant Arrow. I haven't seen a single one, uh, which is weird because usually Dex with Xerneas, uh, Geomancy lets it charge up uh, the Brilliant Arrow attack, which makes me believe. Also, Max Elixirs puts energies down and stuff like that, so it's kind of weird. Um, weird deck here, for sure, but there's a Despair Ray. He's probably going to discard like the Shaman, the Hoopa, and the other Shaman, yeah, there's the 140. Okay. So, bad news. Can't knock it out. Good news. Um, not really any good news. Two many guard boards are in the discard. Um, Fairy Garden's in play, which makes which means that we can retreat for free. Do we have an energy? No. Um, should I risk attaching the energy to the Gardevoir and then Despair Rain? YOLO guys, I'm going to risk that because honestly there is a high chance Ultra Balls we haven't seen a single one of, uh, stuff like that, so... Ay, ay, ay. Gonna uh, go ahead and sick them more. We don't want to play the escape rope. Don't really want to attack the guard of our spirit link. There's the ultra ball. Now guys. If the last mega guard of war is prized, I'm going to be so angry. There's two in there. Okay, but before we ultra ball, let's see if we can get a super rod off the trainer's mail. Yep, we got it. So no worries, guys. No worries. We can super odd back our Mega Gardevoirs and everything, everything will be alright. So there's the super odd. Now what we can do is instead of Ultra Balling for a Mega Gardevoir just like being whatever, kind of lame, we can do something even more than that. Um, I'm gonna Ultra Ball and I'm gonna show you what that uh, thing that is more of is more that whatever uh so ultra ball gonna discard <clears throat> there's no sky field in play discard a guard of war and then discard a sycamore or a dragon discard dragon knight we're going for it. We are going for it. And now, instead of getting just a Mega Guard of War, we can get a Hoopa. Now watch this. We're gonna play Hoopa. We're gonna Scoundrel Ring. We're gonna get both of our Mega Guard of Wars. And 
Wow, that last Mega Guard War was prized, so if I lift the Super Out off the trainer's mail, I would have been very, uh, very upset. But uh, now we can get both the Mega Guard Wars and the Shaman. And the Shaman. So, gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve both of our Guard of Wars. Okay, Mega Evolution. Oh, we all know, we all know. And we're gonna go ahead and Shaman set up for three cards. Let's see what we get here. Now the question is, do we dig for a Skyfield? There's not really any need to do that, so we're not going to. We're just going to go ahead and be fine with the two shot. We're gonna despair ray. We're gonna get rid of all of these things that we don't want on our bench. The Holucha, the Shaman, the Shaman, the Koopa. Done. Discard. Bye. Thanks for the use, um, but don't need you anymore, and you're just a liability right now, so you're gonna go. Gonna have to go. So now onto his turn. Uh, he does have the Mega Gardevoir um, set up. He evolves his bench and attaches an energy to it. So, if you know, I'm not going to say if, because I know that he's going to knock out our Mega Guard for If he doesn't, then I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. But he's going to discard it. Alright, we're going to knock out our Mega Guard for And then we have a Naked Guard of War with no energies on the bench, but we have an energy plus a Mega Turbo in our hand. So hopefully he doesn't play N. Hopefully he does not play the N to get rid of our Mega Turbo plus energy combo. Because that is the only way we can attack. And there's the Despair Ray. He doesn't play any supporter that turn. And it's gonna do 130. Definitely enough to knock us out. He's probably thinking right now, that Mega Gardevoir is not gonna be able to attack. But, let me just show you something, young pal. Energy, Mega Turbo. Yep, you were wrong. It is going to be able to attack. Now we're gonna set up another Gardevoir. We're gonna go ahead, guard of war trainers, is melting. Get the spirit link. No, we can't. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and fail that trainers now. Um, finding an end here would be very nice because he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in his hands. Four cards. I can pretty much half his hand size as of now. If I end, so we're gonna go ahead and Koopa. Scalinger Ring. We're gonna get two Shamans. We are going, gonna get two Shamans because why not? If I whiff the end on the first Shaman, I have another Shaman. If I don't whiff the end on the first Shaman, I don't need to use the second Shaman. So, I'm gonna go. There's the Spirit Link. At least we get the Spirit Link. Um, we're not gonna replace. Did we replace the Stadium? There's still no way to one. There's still no way for him to one shot us. So. Um. Doesn't really matter. I might just replace it just to draw more cards with Shaman right now. I'll be able to draw three. Yeah, let's do that. Um. Shaman again. And we get an N. We do play three N. There's a Rattata. All of his spirit links pretty much have no use anyways right now. Okay, we got a buddy buddy rescue. So we can get our uh, our Mega Gardevoir back. But since we just put that Gardevoir down, we can't evolve it right away. Um, I think I'm just gonna knock him out. Because... Not gonna be able to find the end, so we're gonna despair ray. We don't want him to take any cheeky knockout, so all those Pokemon are going bye bye. So now we're tied on prizes. We both have very large hands, although he's still an advantage because he has another Gardevoir on his pen powered up. We do not have that. We we have a naked Gardevoir once again. There's a Mega Turbo. There's a super rod, so this makes us think that he doesn't have the regular energy in his hand since he's Mega Turbo. I would imagine that he would rather use the regular energy in his hand. 
Um, Super Rod, then you get that Gardevoir, Hoopla, okay. and Chino. And Hexmaniac. So Hexmaniac is really good against the Mirror because, as you see, all these Pokemon in this card pile, except for Gardevoir and Mega Gardevoir, do have abilities also in my hand. Um, but luckily, we don't really need a, sh a lot of abilities this turn. Um, all we really need is an attachment onto the bench guard of war, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, let's see what Pokemon are in here. Okay, so he doesn't have a regular guard of war in here, so I don't really care to buddy buddy rescue and let him get a Pokemon out because uh, there's not really a lot of Pokemon that I care about having him have when he's doing things in his discard. Yeah, so he's gonna get the Mega Guard of War. Um, and I'm gonna also get the Mega Guard of War. So now we have the Mega Guard of War. So all we need to do next turn, when he knocks us out, is just attach this guy, this energy there. Um, if he does end us, we'll have one, two, three, four energies gone, so we'll have four energies left, so we have a decent chance to hit it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get rid of this Rattata. Um, I know I can't use its ability, but we'll just despair it out of the field because uh, if he does end us, Rattata's a completely dead card that we do not need in this matchup. Um, especially now since like a lot of his spirit links are gone and stuff like that. So. Let's see what he decides to do here. He hasn't really played a bunch, a lot of supporters. He, he played the Hex, he played the Sycamore, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure why he plays Ninja Boy. That's an interesting inclusion in this deck. Um, it's really weird. Why? Ninja Boy is interesting. So, he's taking his time here, thinking, what do I do? I mean, there's one clear decision, which is to knock out my Mega Gardevoir, but he really does need that uh, other Gardevoir on the bench. So he's going to use Fairy Drop. That's going to heal 50 damage, and we need 140 damage to knock out the Mega Gardevoir, meaning we need three bench Pokemon. Only three. Not, not too bad. Uh, all of our Pokemon are in the discard pile, so we have to hope and pray that he doesn't play another Hexmaniac so we can use our Dragonite Gears. There's an N. So hopefully we don't draw garbage off of this N. Hopefully he doesn't find another fairy drop off of this N, but we find the fairy energy and the ultra ball, which is gonna be perfect. Does he have a fairy drop? If he has a fairy drop, yes, no fairy drop. If he did have a fairy drop, we would have to fill our whole bench, our whole eight bench slots, and discard all of them in order to knock out the mega guard work. So we're going to attach Ultra Ball. We're definitely going to use that N. We're going to be a Sinker Fort. Get that Dragonite. <laughs> going to lay that Dragonite down. And we are going to be very excited to be able to pull up <coughs> these Pokemon. Okay, we have three Gardevoir Spirit Links, so. Oh, Garnivore is pretty dead right now, but we'll get one out anyways. And we'll get out a Shaman. No, we'll get out a... Uh, yeah, we'll get out a Shaman and a Shaman. Just in case he ends us or something. Or, I don't know, guys. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Shaman. They're gonna be discarded anyways. Might as well use their ability. Uh, Shaman, Shaman... I know it's just drawing one card, guys, but listen, we need to be able to discard it. So now we're going to end him down to two cards. Yeah, we, I'll definitely sacrifice my one uh, less card for his, like, five lesser cards. So. There's a super odd. I'm debating whether or not... Nah, I'm going to... Mm, yeah, I'm going to play. We're going to play super odd because we definitely need a way... Um, to fill up our bench once again, once um, once the Mega Gardevoir 
or like once my Mega Gardevoir die or yeah, once all my best Pokemon are discarded. So we're gonna grab these three. Also, it's gonna help us with if we get N to a low card hand like I just did to him, we can um we can draw out of it because we have shamans to draw cards. So, uh, yeah, the spray ray is gonna do 140, which is gonna get the knockout if I just discard all three. So there's gonna get the knockout there. And two prizes each. Now, he only has a Xerneas, and I end him to two. So if he doesn't find a basic, then we have the Ultra Ball in our hand, and we can Ultra Ball for Hoopa, Hoopa for some Shamans, and then win. So he attaches a third energy, and, and he find another basic. There's a Rainbow Spear. No basic, going to be able to play this Ultra Ball, discard any card, any card at all, getting Hoopa, gonna play it, gonna search for up to 3 Pokemon EX, gonna get that Shaman, and guys, gonna put this Shaman down, gonna discard it, Gonna be able to do 130 and gonna be able to take the W. Just to make sure we'll put another shaman down. And there we go. Gonna do spare ray, gonna discard all three. And boom! There we go. And that shows the power of Mega Gardevoir. Um it's a very, very strong deck, uh, very popular, um, has very good matchups, very good synergy with Dragon IDX, Shamans to draw and discard, so no, it's not a liability, um, very fast, uh, so yeah, definitely make sure to uh, watch out for Mega Guard of Wars, um, and to be aware the sheer power of Mega Gardevoir, and don't be shy to build this deck and play it for a tournament because odds are you might do pretty well. That's wrong with the deck, guys. That's wrong with the deck. So, end of the video. We're gonna always open up one pack, um, and here we go. One pack of evolutions. Uh, can we get a Dragonite? That'll be pretty fun. Um. Ghastly, Weedle, Ponyta, Tangela, Super Potion, Brock's Grit, Needle King, and Raichu. I love Raichu. Uh, comment your favorite card from Evolutions down below, and hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to subscribe for more PTCGO videos. Leave uh, suggestions down below. Um, uh, stay tuned for pack openings, stay tuned for deck profiles, stay tuned for VGC content. Uh, and much, much more. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more.